Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I was just looking on hellhades.com and I was like, what can I do a fun video about? And I just went on to the um, champion tier list. You can get your own copy of this if you want it. Downloaded the champion damage spreadsheet. And in my head, I was thinking maybe I'd just do like a top nukers for the arena, something like that. When I downloaded it, I was a bit surprised by what I saw. Hold on, let me just grab the right page. Downloaded it. I pushed it onto Excel. I, I filtered by AOE damage dealers. And right at the top was the free champion. The free champion that you have got about 7 billion times if you've played this game for any amount of time. Hound Spawn. His Shattering Strike. And I even went back to Saf, who um, does all of these spreadsheets for us. And I was like, Saf, hold on a minute. It's telling me here the best damage dealer in the game is Hound Spawn. Is it right? Have we made some sort of mistake here? And um, <laughs> it turns out it's right. And I'll, I'll show you why. So, Hound Spawn, the freak show that you get all the time from, from farming stage 12 3, has got this AoE ability that will ignore defense. So, ignore defense is the kind of key part about why this is doing so much damage you don't need savage gear you don't need cruel gear it's going to ignore everybody's defense 100 percent of it it will also ignore block damage buffs uh, but you have to have a freeze against the enemy so and it's only possible if you've got this crappy other rare hellfang in the same team so i started thinking about it i was like what about if we could create the freeze in a different way because hellfang Although he does do a freeze, he does an AoE freeze on his A3. Actually, not a bad chance to land it. Like 80% if you book him out, 85% if you bring the mastery to boost it. So it's not a bad chance to land it anyway, just from using Hellfang. But I was like, no, let's get someone who's more consistently going to land that ability. Um, and then we start throwing in Hound Spawn against some crazy teams and see what he can do. So this is going to be a bit of a fun one. Is it going to be viable top level of plat? Probably not, but it's a fun, it's a fun thing to do. And you know, why do we play these games? We play it to to enjoy ourselves. So we have got ourselves, um, and I've got to say thanks to Saf. I'm on Saf's account. I didn't have Hellfang, so I didn't have one to build out. Saf's got one built out for me. So Saf's got this level 50 Hellfang built out, and he went and and 60 a Hound Spawn. He might be the only person who's ever done it. I don't know. Maybe maybe this has happened before. I've just not seen it. I've just not clocked it. Okay, then. Let's talk about how we make this work. So he has got an A3. AoE. It's the only AoE ability in the game that ignores all defense. It means you don't need Savage Gear. You don't need Cruel Gear. None of that won't make any difference to his build whatsoever. Helm Smasher will do nothing on him. Okay? So you're just looking for as much attack and crit damage as you can get. Now, he's pretty slow, 93 speed. He's one of the slowest champions in the game. So it makes it quite hard to speed tune and make this work. And you have to have Hellfang on the same team for him to activate his Ignore Defense nuke. And Hellfang uh, is another kind of crappy rare um, who is only good when Hound spawns on the same team, which is this kind of uh, AoE freeze. If this was what a 100% freeze then these two together could be actually nuts, but it's an 80% freeze, which is still kind of good. It's still going to get three out of four of your enemies. So what we're going to do, we're going to run Arbiter into a guaranteed freeze, Gergo, into Hellfang, and then into Houndspawn. Uh, so basically I get two bites of the cherry at a freeze, and it means I can slow down my Houndspawn to be an absolute nuke so what have we done on him we've gone 5.7k attack 233 crit damage this is on saf's account one of the guys from hh gaming if this was on my account honestly i don't even know what the numbers could be i think they would be nuts um but saf's not been playing the game as long as gear's not quite as crazy so you can kind of get a gauge of from a you know a, a guy who's played the game for a while this is his gear set uh mine would be through the roof numbers i'm sure of it and other people could go even higher than that in terms of masteries um can you see them well enough yeah i think so so crit rate crit damage things like ruthless ambush for that first hit damage things like single out more damage 
bring it down more damage. Uh, opp opportunist, a straight 12% damage buff because we know Freeze has got to be there. And there's no point going Helm Smasher, so we go Flawless Execution for more crit damage. I decided to go Law of Steel mainly because I didn't see a benefit from Defense Tree. You've got to sit everyone down in one shot, otherwise you're probably going to lose. Um, and then in terms of gear, we've basically just gone for the speed to be just before or just after Hellfang but then with as much damage as I could optimize into it as I could. So we're going for the nukes. Okay, we're going to take him into Doom Tower first, try him against some of these kind of wave-based content before we get him into the arena. Um, so we're just going to fly in there with a freeze. Just roll in on someone. Got a reset champion in here with Renegade so we can get back to these abilities quicker. We need them. Here we go, A3, slow it down. What have we got? Mince meat is what we've got. The only person we didn't absolutely nail was Michal because of affinity. So everyone else absolutely one shot. Now we're only on normal Doom Tower here. Saf's not further up in in like hard Doom Tower, but I think the result would be the same because he just ignores all defense. Um, so we come back round, just hit someone. Going to get a reset ability here to reset his freeze. We've got a different freeze coming in now. We've got, what, three of them? It's not ideal. We've got to rotate back around anyway a turn. Let's see what he's doing. I mean, he's done 34k without any drop defense and without that main ability, which is pretty juicy anyway. Let's get that freeze off again. Push back a bit of turn meter. We'll have him back this time. Three of them with decrease. Uh, sorry, three of them with the freeze out there. And... Ooh, 100k <laughs> 100k so in wave content he is going to blow stuff up how do we not know about this guy already blowing up the doom tower waves as long as you've got hellfang in the team and and a way to make sure you've got the aoe freeze going on so you need both of those things to make this work it's not the easiest setup in the world but it's a bit of fun this would work the same in any wave content you know any dungeons whatever just it would be the same um, so let's get him into the main event. Let's get him into the arena where he can try and shine. Let's do this. Go on. Smack him again. Smack them again. Oh, yeah. 100k. Let's go into the arena. Uh, perhaps we just get a fresh page up. Now, he is a weak affinity to anything spirit. So spirit could be a problem for us. This could be a fun one to look at. We've got an old tan who's going to be a defensive tank. Uh, speed and increase attack. Into freeze, into freeze, into nuke. That's the idea. This is a wrong affinity for some champions. This is a wrong affinity for others. It's not the easiest comp to make it work. Um, let's just slow it down a touch. We get the freeze away. I'm just going to A1 the Arbor to try and push our turn meter back. We're going to go. We don't even need the freeze again, so I'll just hold on to his freeze. Give him a little tickle. Then the freeze has worn off here. That's the trouble. That's that's the hardest thing to deal with, I guess. Um, but then A3, what's he going to do? Slow it down. Oh, 80 to 90k across the board where there was freezes out there. Okay, let's see if we get another tanky style team. This one looks pretty tanky. Let's try this. Increase attack into the freeze. Just push back turn meter here. Gonna try into the freeze again. We get it. Into the nuke. Slow it down. What we're gonna get? Oh. <laughs> it is pretty juicy. I mean, this is a proper team. This is not a joke team. This is a team that was built to do work, and they are on the floor. Gratznov, have a rest, my friend. Um, Look at this, full tank team, this one. Absolute full tank team with a candy, one of the best defensive champions uh, in the game. Let's see what we get here. Remove their buffs with the freeze. We've got a, a passive here, which is going to make us, or make him take less damage. Don't need the extra freeze. I just will throw it out there anyway, but don't need it. See, again, it drops off here. This is our problem. Uh, might even be better to slow Hellfang down. But... Candy took a seat. Warlord, I think, had reaction gear on there. I didn't quite see. I think that was reaction gear. 
So now's where we kind of run into trouble because we don't have an answer if they survive. We just don't have an answer for it. That's going to be a loss. Um, reaction gear, I guess, is probably his nemesis, really. Go for this one. Anyone telling me I don't have a nuke? I don't have a, a nuke champion. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Don't give me those lies. Okay, they can drop off. Let's freeze again. Freeze is on. Nuke coming in. Woo! Only the weak hit. That's the only, that's the only thing we had. Weak hit didn't sit him down completely, but everyone else took an absolute dive. Have a rest, friends. Let's try this one. So Deke is the weak affinity here. But again, tanky, tanky, tanky. And Trunder nuke. Can we out nuke the Trunder? That's the question. Let's push her turn meter back. I want these two to take a turn. There we go. Get the freeze off again. We got it. Going in. We're going in! <laughs> again, we got some weak hits. We've got to deal with that. We can't really um, do anything about that. But... This team is fun. This is what you need in Raid Shadow Legends. If you're a bit bored and you're like, you know what? I don't know who to build today. This is the new answer. This is who you should build today. The champion you've probably got more than you've got any other champion since you've been playing this game. This is feeling, feeling a bit messy. Do we get a turn? No, we got absolutely nuked. Okay. Okay. We did win them all. Let's go for a new, new page. Kevin, what you got? What have you got? Let's push back deep. She'll get a turn, but we're going to try and refreeze her. We got her. Is she dead? Of course she's dead. Of course she's dead. So there you go, guys. Only a quick one today, but Hound Spawn, the mysterious, um, the mysterious rare that we've probably pulled more than any other champion in this game. Did you know he blows everybody up? I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.